Ever wondered how your diet could affect a condition like herpes? Today we're unraveling that mystery. Herpes, a common viral infection that affects millions worldwide, often leaves people searching for ways to manage its symptoms. While medication can help, your diet can also play a pivotal role in managing this condition. Whether it's foods that help bolster your immune system or those that can trigger outbreaks, knowing what to eat and what to avoid can make a significant difference. So let's dive in and explore how food can play a role in managing this condition. Herpes, a common viral infection, can be quite bothersome, but did you know it can be managed effectively? There are primarily two types of herpes viruses, herpes simplex virus type 1 or HSV1 and herpes simplex virus type 2 or HSV2. HSV1 is typically responsible for oral herpes, leading to cold sores or fever blisters around your mouth. On the other hand, HSV2 commonly causes genital herpes, which can lead to painful blisters or sores in the genital area. These viruses are highly contagious and can be transmitted through direct contact with the sores or even when there are no visible symptoms, through what we call asymptomatic shedding. Common symptoms include blisters, ulcers, pain when urinating, cold sores and vaginal discharge, although many people with the virus do not show symptoms. While there's no cure, managing symptoms and preventing outbreaks is possible, and diet plays a key role in this. Certain foods can trigger herpes outbreaks, let's explore what they are. Have you ever been surprised by the connection between what you eat and how your body reacts, especially when it comes to managing a condition like herpes? The truth is, certain foods can trigger outbreaks, and it's all linked to an amino acid called arginine. Arginine is a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's crucial for our body to perform various functions like healing wounds, removing waste products from the body, and maintaining immune and hormone function. But for those dealing with herpes, it can be a bit of a troublemaker. Here's why. The herpes virus, whether it's oral or genital, needs arginine to grow and replicate. It's like fuel for the virus. So when you consume foods high in arginine, it's like throwing gasoline on a burning fire. You're essentially giving the virus more resources to thrive and cause outbreaks. Now you might be wondering what foods are high in arginine. Well, it's found in a lot of healthy foods, and that's where it gets tricky. Nuts and seeds, for example, are packed with arginine. That includes almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and peanuts. Chocolate, as delicious as it is, also contains a significant amount of arginine. Same goes for whole grains, which are often recommended for their high fiber content and health benefits. Foods like brown rice, oats, and whole wheat are all loaded with arginine. Now does this mean you should completely eliminate these foods from your diet? Not necessarily. Remember arginine is still important for our overall health. The key is balance and moderation. If you notice that outbreaks occur after consuming a lot of these foods, it might be worth reducing your intake. Additionally, it might be beneficial to counterbalance these arginine-rich foods with foods high in another amino acid called lysine, which we'll delve into in the next scene. Avoiding these foods can help reduce the frequency and severity of outbreaks. Remember, everybody is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. It's all about finding what works best for you and your health. Just as some foods can trigger outbreaks, others can help prevent them. Welcome to the silver lining of our culinary journey. While we've discussed the foods to avoid, let's shift our focus to foods that can actually help manage herpes symptoms and prevent outbreaks. One of the key nutrients in this battle against herpes is lysine. Lysine is an essential amino acid which means our bodies can't produce it, and we have to get it from our diet. But why is lysine so important for herpes patients you may ask? Well here's the science behind it. Lysine has been shown to inhibit the replication of the herpes virus, thus reducing the frequency and severity of outbreaks. So where can we find this magical nutrient? The answer is in a variety of delicious foods that are easily accessible and can be incorporated into your daily meals. Fish, for instance, is an excellent source of lysine. Whether it's salmon, mackerel, or cod, incorporating these into your diet can have a positive impact on managing herpes. Chicken is another lysine-rich food. Not only is it a versatile ingredient that can be used in myriad dishes, but it also provides a hefty dose of this essential amino acid. Now, if you're more inclined towards plant-based foods, fret not. Vegetables, especially legumes like beans and lentils, are also fantastic sources of lysine. They're nutritious, packed with other valuable nutrients, and they're super easy to incorporate into soups, salads, and stews. But remember, it's all about balance. 
While it's important to consume these lysine-rich foods, maintaining a balanced, varied diet is key to overall health and wellness. Also, while diet can play a significant role in managing herpes, it's not the only factor. Regular exercise, stress management, and appropriate medication are all part of a comprehensive approach to managing this condition. So, go ahead, explore your culinary horizons with these lysine-packed foods. Including these foods in your diet can help manage herpes symptoms. And remember, it's not just about managing symptoms, but also about enjoying a healthy, delicious diet. Preventing herpes transmission is crucial, especially for those who are already infected. We've talked about understanding the virus, managing your diet, and now, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of prevention. To keep it simple, remember these three key points. Practice safe intimacy, avoid sharing personal items, and limit direct contact during an outbreak. Firstly, when it comes to intimate relationships, safe practices are essential. The herpes virus can be transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact, and this risk is significantly higher during sexual activities. Using barriers such as condoms or dental dams can reduce the risk, but it's important to remember that they don't provide complete protection. The virus can still be present on skin areas not covered by these barriers. That's why it's crucial to communicate with your partner about your status and consider antiviral medication to lower the risk of transmission. Secondly, personal items like towels, razors, or lip balm can harbor the virus if they've been in contact with an infected area. Sharing these items can lead to transmission, so it's best to keep your personal items to yourself. This might feel like a small step but it goes a long way in preventing the spread of herpes. Lastly, during an outbreak when symptoms are present, the virus is most contagious. It's advised to avoid any kind of direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with others during this time to prevent transmission. This includes kissing, sexual activities, or even casual touch if the outbreak is on a part of the body that's usually exposed, like hands or face. Preventing herpes isn't just about safeguarding yourself, but also about protecting others. It's about being responsible and considerate. The steps might seem tedious at times, but they're worth the effort. After all, it's not just about avoiding the discomfort and distress that come with an outbreak, but also about reducing the overall prevalence of this virus. And let's not forget, regular checkups and staying informed about the latest research and developments can also play a significant role in prevention. Remember, prevention is better than cure. So, we've covered quite a bit today about herpes and the role of diet in managing it. To recap, we've learned that herpes is a viral infection that typically presents as oral or genital sores. Though it can't be completely eradicated, its symptoms can be managed effectively, and outbreaks can be made less frequent and less severe. We delved into the foods that should be avoided when managing herpes. These include foods high in arginine, such as nuts, seeds, and chocolate, which can potentially trigger an outbreak. We also talked about the importance of minimizing the intake of processed foods and sugars, as they can weaken the immune system making it harder to fight off the virus. On the flip side, we discussed foods that can be beneficial in managing herpes. These include foods rich in lysine such as fish, chicken, vegetables and dairy products, which can help to suppress the virus. We also underscored the importance of a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains to keep the immune system robust and ready to combat the virus. We then moved on to the prevention of herpes. We stressed the importance of safe practices, such as using condoms and dental dams during sexual activities and avoiding intimate contact during an outbreak. We also emphasized the importance of regular medical checkups and testing to ensure early detection and treatment. It's important to remember that while diet plays a significant role in managing herpes, it's just one piece of the puzzle. A balanced diet can help to boost your immune system and reduce the frequency and severity of outbreaks, but it's not a cure. Safe practices and regular medical treatment are also crucial in managing this condition. By following these guidelines, you can take control of your health and manage your herpes effectively. You can live a full healthy life and reduce the impact of herpes on your daily activities. So there it is, a comprehensive guide to understanding herpes, knowing what to eat and what to avoid, how to prevent it, and how to manage its symptoms. With the right information, you can make informed decisions about your health. Remember, while herpes can be a challenge, it's possible to manage it effectively through a combination of a healthy diet, safe practices and medical treatment when necessary.